Hello, uh, here's gonna, uh, here I'm gonna do a couple of problems with double number lines, and this basically is the replacement tool for cross multiplication, so it's a little bit better, it shows you really um, some of the basic ideas uh, dealing with proportion. So I'm gonna do these two problems. Um, this first one here says it took Megan two hours to complete three pages of math homework, so I'm gonna write that down first. Uh, this we might call the main ratio in the problem because that's the information that's given. And it says she works at a constant rate. How many pages of math homework um, can she get done in eight hours? And then they have the question about the average rate. So this is the way a uh, double number line works is we're dealing with two quantities that have different units, right? The hours and the pages. So I'm going to do that here. So this is time in hours. And here we have the number of pages of homework. So I'm going to jot down the information that's given to us. Two hours, three pages, and we can make them line up like that. Another nice thing about the double number line, you can write above here and below here. So this way they um, never really interfere. It's not very crowded. And then you can solve the problem, right? So one way we can do it is in an additive way. So if it's two hours, three pages, you can add two here and add three here. And then you can continue this process. So I'm gonna add two, add three, and then this I believe will do it. Add two, add three, right? So that answers the question, right? How, much, uh, how many pages can she finish in eight hours? So I usually circle this here so you can actually see um, the answer. Right, so we have uh, 12 pages. Right, so that's a nice, um, a nice way to see all the number relationships in the problem. So of course this one is kind of long and drawn out. Um, the quick way to see this eventually is by scaling. So you can see here, uh, we can just take this two and scale it by four, right? Multiply by four and we could take the same approach here, and that would land you directly on the answer, right? So that's really eventually where we want to go. Um, another thing I'll point out here, uh, what's the average rate at which she works? So this is uh, connecting to last week when we talked about unit rate. So if we look at the two here, it's pretty easy to find the midpoint, right? We have one there, and then we'd also have to find the midpoint here which would be one and a half, right? Right in the middle of three. So this here, I believe will give you the average rate. So it's really telling us in one hour, right, of time, uh, she gets one and a half pages done. So you can see that. And from last week, we actually call this a unit rate, right? Because one of the quantities is one, right? So one and a half pages um, in one hour of time. So another thing I'll ask you to do on these problems, right, in addition to writing um, the basic ratio in the problem, is to also use something that we call a ratio table. So it's another quick way that you can solve the problem. So I'm just going um, to show it here. So we have hours and we have pages, right? So this is not something you have to do. It's a supplement, right? So it's something you can do in addition to this. So if you write down the main ratio, right, two hours and three pages, right, if you use a ratio table, it's uh, basically the same as using the double number line. So we want to land on eight hours, so we can look at the two, and we can just say, well, let's multiply by four, right, and that will land us on eight hours, and we have to do the same thing here, right, multiply by four, and that will land us on 12 pages, right, so just like the double number line, uh, you get the answer to the problem. So that's really how it works. Um, the main thing I, I want you to understand is this piece, right? Just how to use this. Okay, so let's do one more here. Um, this one is a little bit harder. I think you can tell just when you read the problem, but I'm going to talk about two different ways that you can approach this, or the two different ways that I've seen. So <clears throat> this one here is saying we're going to restrict the amount of sugar 
right, that the little kids have at lunchtime. And it says to no more <clears throat> than 25 grams. So a 12 ounce can of soda has 40 grams of sugar. What's the largest sized cola, right, in ounces that the cafeteria can offer to its students? So I'll write the main ratio uh, maybe uh, right over here. So we have 12 ounces, 40 grams, right? That's our main ratio here. So it um, doesn't matter which line you use for what. Okay, so I'm going to use ounces of cola and then the grams of sugar there. And then the info we have, I'm going to put 12 here and 40 there. Um, notice in this problem, I chose to put these way over here because the answer is going to be somewhere over here. All right, so typically here, what we can do if we want to land on uh, 25 grams, we want to land somewhere over here. So I'm going to cut everything in half. So this is a nice way to start, right? So six ounces, um, 20 grams. And then we can go sort of in the middle here. So we could land on nine here and 30. And notice this gets us pretty close, right, to the 25 grams. But then finally, if we want the answer, we want to go right in the middle here. So that would be 25 grams of sugar. That would put us right in the middle here. So in between six and nine, uh, you actually would end up at seven and a half just right there. So just notice um, how different this is from cross multiplying and you do end up with the answer right here. Right, so a seven and a half ounce cola will give you that um, 25 grams of sugar maximum. <clears throat> right, so great way to do the problem. Now, I will mention, um, I've given this problem to lots of people. Uh, sometimes people will see different things, right? Different ways of solving the problem. So uh, we start right here, and then it's very common to go to this uh, 60 to 20. I've also seen people do this, which is kind of nice. Uh, you can find the halfway point here, right? So right in between the 6 and the 20, you have 3 and 10. And then what you can do is you can have again... So you have five grams and then one and a half ounces. Um, so now where's your answer, right? So this is saying, okay, let's see if we can get 25 grams. I'll circle these in orange, right? So you could grab this one here, that's 20, but then you can also grab this one here, that's five. So now you can see your answer can be obtained by adding the two that are orange, right? So now this will give you 25 grams of sugar, six plus one and a half, that's your seven and a half ounces of soda, okay? So again, this line, uh, the double number line, very, very versatile tool for getting the answer. All right, so let's do um, maybe one more thing, just the ratio table idea, and then we'll be all set. So let's just talk about um, how we can do this. <clears throat> so let's see, 12 ounces. <clears throat> uh, 40 grams. So if you're going to use the table here, I can look at these and tell that um, you can divide them by 4. So it's a pretty quick way to do that. So you can see the connection here. 3 ounces of soda, uh, 10 grams of sugar. Uh, now what we can do with this, I'm going to highlight this one because this is where um, you can really get to either unit rate. So now if you take these, um, you divide them by three. Okay, so stop to think the interpretation here. This means a one ounce of cola is going to get you three and a third grams of sugar, right? So that's one unit rate, but you can get the unit rate the other way. So you could take, again, this pair, 3 and 10, and you could divide by 10. So the other unit rate, 3 tenths and 1. And so if we look at this, I believe it is this one here that will get you pretty quickly to the answer, right? So if you 
look at this part of the ratio table, we have one gram of sugar. What we really want is 25 grams. So now what we can do is multiply this by 25. And then what happens when you multiply this by 25? You get that. Um, so you can see this part of the table actually will take you right to this answer, right? So 25 grams of sugar will give you, um, or 25 grams of sugar comes from that many ounces of cola. So that right there is seven and a half ounces. All right, that's it for double number lines.